traffic has been a little easier for emergency and rescue teams since the quarantine began here in Sao Paulo. But during the pandemic, this has been the only positive change for these teams in Brazil's biggest city. The clinical director of Sao Paulo's medical emergency services, SAMU, has spent 13 years working in the ambulances. He says he's seen many people die because they didn't seek medical assistance in time. Complaining of chest pain or a minor infection, they didn't go to a hospital because they were afraid of getting infected by the coronavirus. And that's not the only problem. The number of suicides that we, we are seeing every day. So the pandemic situation is not only the, the deaths for COVID and so on and the other causes, but we, in the last months, we, we are uh, seeing uh, the, uh, uh, the number of suicides increasing. On that day, the team responded to a call reporting a suicide. The family says the victim, an 85-year-old man, was a happy and communicative person who fell into depression after isolation began. Then he killed himself. Emergency and rescue work is always a challenging and potentially dangerous job, but the COVID-19 pandemic has added another layer of risk to the lives of these healthcare professionals. It's nurse Renata Soares' seventh year in a SAMU ambulance. Because of COVID-19, she says they have to be vigilant 24-7, and not just because of the infections. Now with the increase in delivery services, we are also seeing more motorbike accidents. And we know that these workers are circulating in the city. So I need to be concerned about the risk that they have been contaminated. I have to mind now about both things, the trauma of the accident and the risk of corona infection. So I have to pay close attention to the personal protection equipment and make sure the whole team is wearing theirs. Here in this poor community, the team came to see a patient whose family called for help because she had some of the classic COVID-19 symptoms, difficulty breathing, a fever and body aches. If she has the disease, the team must take extra precautions to avoid getting infected themselves. Bringing her to this hospital was the team's last call. Another grueling 24-hour shift on the streets of Sao Paulo now over. But the team faces many hard days and nights ahead. In the region, considered the new global epicenter for COVID-19. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Sao Paulo.